You clicked on this video because you probably want to know what to eat to lose 100 pounds in six months. Well, stay tuned because I'm going to go over one of my very favorite healthy meals to lose weight. Hello everybody, I'm Dad Bod to Bad Dad and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who the heck Dad Bod to Bad Dad is, well I am a dad who lost 110 pounds right here on YouTube. You can go back to my very earliest videos and see the very start of my weight loss and health journey. And I'm uploading content to this platform to radiate positivity, give you a little bit of my own experience, my own weight loss tips, my own meal recipes. So if you find any motivation or inspiration or any help from my channel, please click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss great content like this. And give me a like, it really helps this channel grow, helps me get out to more people and uh, also share this video if you like what you hear. We are gonna get into this simple recipe, but I just wanna let you guys know, if you wanna lose weight fast and healthy, you also have to be active. Now, I lost 110 pounds in total in eight months. Of course, 100 pounds in the first six months right here on YouTube. But I wanna let you know, and I don't wanna sugarcoat anything. You need to get out and walk or start moving, do some sort of activity that's sustainable for you. You'll hear me say that a lot on my channel, but do something that you love that you can do every single day. Doesn't depend on the weather. Out here in Las Vegas, it does get a little hot, but we can get out and walk. So that's one of my very favorite things. It's low impact and uh, it just gives me time to listen to my audiobooks, to catch up with friends that also want to go on walks and uh, just be healthy, be outside and, and get some sun. It is absolutely incredible what walking does for your mental, physical, emotional state. I wasn't always this active and I just wanna give you guys some hope that if you guys just start today making small changes, it'll turn into this big, beautiful thing, this snowball of health and fitness. And I never thought I'd be here two years ago. I really didn't. I mean, I did start my journey a little over two years ago and I've managed to keep the weight off for well over a year and a half, but I was eating Philly cheesesteaks and burritos and tacos and pizza and wings and fries, stuff that was literally killing me. And as I was approaching 30, I started this journey when I was 29 and I have a beautiful daughter named Lily. I just felt my mortality. Like I was always the big athletic guy that fit in. So I can't say that my life stopped because I was obese, but it was definitely not as great as it could be. And coming up to 29, my bones, my ankles, just the arches of my feet were collapsed, which uh, I've managed to kind of heal all of those things. And uh, it's, it's really amazing how the human body can heal, but you have to start implementing small changes each and every day. It's not about being perfect day one, hour one, week one, but it's simply about becoming better than yourself the day before. If you come with that mentality, you really don't have to count calories. Let's face it, we know what we're putting in our body and you know, if you cut back just a little bit in minuscule microscopic efforts, you're gonna not have to count calories on this journey. I did not count calories once on this journey. You guys can absolutely do this without counting calories, without putting too much stress on yourself, which that's my first tip in this video. You don't wanna put too much stress on yourself during this weight loss journey. And my second tip that's kind of unconventional that I talk about quite a bit is don't tell everybody you're on a weight loss journey because misery loves company, let's face it, a lot of your friends may be obese or just may be jealous of your progress. And uh, we don't know how those close people in our lives can actually be somewhat of an enemy. And I don't mean that they intentionally mean to be an enemy in every case, but I'm just telling you guys, it's the human condition. People want to justify their own state by telling you, oh, it's okay, you know, like you look great and, you don't need to lose weight. You're perfect the way you are and I love you and that's all wonderful that they're there for you during that time and during your time of desperation. But within yourself, you need to start, you need to be self-motivated and you need to take responsibility because let's face it, these body positivity influencers that come on and say that the plus size community is under attack, no plus size community and by the way, at almost 350 pounds, I never wanted to be associated with them because I think it's disgusting that you would give up on yourself. And I don't mean to be cruel, but you guys need to hear the truth. And 
I'm a coach. I'm a motivator. I'm not going to sugarcoat things like I said before. You need to hear the cold, hard truth. So get started today. Let's take a look at this recipe. And one more side note before we get into that recipe. You guys don't have to give up all the foods that you love. I know that I just attacked myself for eating Philly cheesesteaks, tacos, burritos, pizza, wings, fries. I still love those things. I still enjoy those things and I'm never going to stop. You can't over restrict yourself on this journey. And in fact, it was kind of weird in the beginning. I'm not saying this is healthy, but I did do more of an OMAD diet, which is one meal a day. And I would wait all day past work, past all my responsibilities with my daughter. And I would go get a California burrito, which is a carne asada burrito with French fries, sour cream, guacamole, cheese, all the fixins, and two tacos and a big soda. And I did lose my first 40 pounds doing that. And uh, once you start losing weight, you want to start putting better stuff in your body. Not that I'm telling you, you're going to want to, it's, you're literally going to see the progress and you're going to be like, wow, like this is awesome. So it just, like I said before, it snowballs into this big, beautiful thing called health and fitness. And I know you don't believe it now, but if you just start, as I keep beating you over the head with, I promise you it will snowball and you will have the progress that I've shown today. So what we're gonna do now is kind of talk through this video of me preparing this meal, which is a chicken breast, rice, avocado, and a little barbecue sauce, just to give yourself some flavor. I'm a big sauce person, so honestly, you can still have sauces, guys. You can still eat ranch. I show that in some of my other videos. And uh, you'll see that the chicken breast is actually already prepared. But what I'll do is I'll actually post a video down in the description so you can see how I prepare my chicken. It's actually very simple, just 400 degrees in the oven for about 20 minutes, give or take, depending on the size of the chicken breast, put your own seasoning, what you like, and it comes out juicy and tender every single time. You really want to have that chicken breast prepared for when you get out of the gym or whatever time of day you plan on eating this meal because you don't want to have any obstacles to say, oh, I'll just go to Chick-fil-A and grab a sandwich or I'll go to McDonald's. You really want to take all the obstacles, all the excuses off the table. So have that chicken prepared and I promise you, you're gonna see that I microwave the chicken here for about a minute and a half and it still stays juicy. You know, just eat it within a couple days and you're good. So I usually cook a couple to maybe four chicken breasts ahead of time. And uh, I promise you it doesn't taste like leftovers, which a lot of meal prep stuff will. But in this case with the protein, you can actually cook it a little bit ahead of time and it'll still taste delicious. Now let's walk you through this video. What I'm gonna do here is take my Babigo rice from Costco which is part of my healthy Costco haul, which you may or may not have seen. I have a video up. You can check through my channel to see that. And this Babigo rice bowl is incredible. 90 seconds in the microwave, you tear back the little corner, throw it in the microwave, and literally 90 seconds later, you have the most delicious white sticky rice. It goes perfectly with chicken or a burger patty, or if you wanna throw some eggs over it. It gives you that simple carb that can help you restore the glycogen in your muscle after your heavy workout. And I know people talk about carbs as being the demon, but after a heavy workout, you really wanna restore that glycogen in your muscle, which is like the sugar because it makes the fullness go, it helps with recovery, and so, well, just take my word for it. I know not everybody is at the same level of knowledge of fitness, but as you study on YouTube, you study my channel, others' channels, you'll see that you actually do need carbs. So if you love carbs, white carbs in general, like white rice, you don't necessarily have to eat brown rice. It's actually good for you to eat carbs after a heavy workout. So again, you'll see that I throw the rice in the microwave for 90 seconds, take it out, I plate it. It's a gorgeous presentation. I'll stick my grilled chicken in the microwave at that point in time for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Make sure you cover it, people. Nobody wants to come after you and have a dirty microwave, okay? Like, just be respectful, because that chicken will pop. Just my little pet peeve, my side note. So once you get the chicken out of the microwave, you can cut it up. Put it right over that rice. Then you can take a half an avocado if you like it. Now avocados have some great benefits to them with weight loss and actually with cancer curing properties. And I won't get too much into the science on that. You can take a look for yourself, but also avocados are very satiating. Now I know they have a lot of calories compared to other fruits, but guys, I promise you the way you're eating now, you don't have to worry about avocados. These avocados will cream things up for you to where you don't have to use mayonnaise and mayonnaise-based sauces like ranch because 
honestly it just it's it's amazing and also avocados help you kind of metabolize that white rice believe it or not avocados have a property that do that and again you can go on YouTube you can do the research yourself online avocados are an incredible magical fruit and I do recommend eating one whole avocado per day now I did not really like avocados before my weight loss journey but I also didn't like black coffee before my weight loss journey I always used to load down with cream but if you start forcing yourself to eat that it's a fruit that just is gonna transform your life you can literally put it on sandwiches over rice, on eggs, with your bacon. Yes, I said you can have real bacon. You don't have to give up everything that you love. So try to start eating avocados, guys. They're actually incredible once you start eating them. And you can see in this video that I do pour a healthy amount of barbecue sauce over my chicken and rice. And guys, don't attack me in the comment section. I've heard it all before. I lost 110 pounds eating ranch and you know blue cheese and Thousand Island and barbecue sauce. And it wasn't low calorie barbecue sauce. The sauce isn't killing you guys. The fact that you guys aren't as active as you should be, aren't eating wholesome foods like in this video. So definitely consider trying this meal out. You're gonna actually have a lot of fun learning how to cook, being with your family, your significant other, whoever that may be. And you're gonna save a lot of money too. I want the very best for you. I want you to know how great I feel. And it's not just a bragging thing, like I really love teaching and coaching and getting people to start realizing things that I thought I could never realize myself being a former fat person. So don't settle for being part of that fat positive, body positive community. Now I'm not saying don't love yourself, absolutely love yourself, but making this choice to change your life today, to start today, after watching this video, what can I do to make a small choice to become better than I was yesterday? Think about it. That's loving yourself. That's body positivity. Now guys, if you found any motivation, any inspiration from this video, again, please click that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you never miss great content like this. I'm as genuine as they come. If you leave a comment, leave a question down there, I will answer it. Let's blow this channel up. Let's get this country, let's get this world a healthier place because people are struggling, guys. The easy choice is to go through the drive through but you need to be the very strongest, healthiest version of yourself for yourself, your family. If you have a daughter, you have a son, you have a wife, you have a husband, and you're seeing this video, you know, do this journey for yourself because at the end of the day, you need to be the very strongest and healthiest version. And I promise you, once you're on this side, on my side of the health journey, it just keeps getting better and better. The gym gets addicting in a healthy way. The walking gets addicting in a healthy way. And the eating like this gets addicting in a healthy way. And then you still get to enjoy all the foods you love on top of that. But you just kind of listen to your body and you know when you can eat those and when you can't. Guys, start today. I promise you it'll be the greatest decision you've ever made in your life for yourself and for your family. Again, I'm Dad Bod to Bad Dad. If you made it this far, thank you for watching.